guys! Welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, I'm going to show you my Placado foundation routine. So if you want to know how I achieve a flawless looking face, please keep on watching. So I asked you guys on Instagram whether or not you would like to see my foundation routine and today is the day that I'm going to show you how I do it. Just a disclaimer before I start, this is how I do my foundation routine and I am not telling you na ito yung proper way to do yours. Different skin types, foundation preferences, whether you like it sheer, medium, or full coverage, or you like it dewy or matte, iba-iba tayo guys, we all have different preferences. Now it may look as if it is cakey but I promise you na hindi ako mahilig sa something cakey or sa something sticky, this is the light way or pinakamagaan sa feeling, ayan, na nilagay ko sa face ko with regards to foundation or my canvas. For this foundation routine, I am going to use two foundations. Yes, guys, dalawa. And yung isa, it's the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Full Coverage Foundation. And the other one is the Dior Skin Air Flash, uh, I do not know foundation, spray foundation. Alam ko na alam yung ipapakita ko because I have been raving about this foundation. The coverage is the best for its consistency. Manipis siya and lightweight siya sa skin, but, 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 the coverage hindi siya matatawaran. I have two shades. So, si number 27, bisque neutral na shade of this Marc Jacobs foundation. Sa unang lagay ko, sobrang okay talaga siya. But the thing is, it oxidizes on my skin. It turns a little bit orange on me. So, for daily use, mapapansin mo na mas darker yung face ko kaysa sa body. So what I do on a daily basis, I use Ivory number 12. So, ito yung mas bagong foundation because I just purchased this nung pumunta ako ng Singapore. Sa una, mukha siyang maputi but later on, just a few minutes, mga 30 minutes, okay na yung shade niya for me. Now, you might be asking na meron akong number 12 Ivory. Inaano ko pa si number 27. Si number 27, I wear this when I am filming. When I am filming, I have studio lights and ang ginagawa ng studio lights is, is may ikels with it. My studio lights is within this level. So sa face talaga siya halos nakatutok and of course, I have my ring light. It makes your face lighter than the rest of your body. So even if this is a little bit darker, okay pa rin siya. I use a damp beauty blender with this foundation because yun yung peg ko. I try this with a brush, okay naman siya. Actually, mas better ang coverage. But the thing is, it already feels kiki. On me lang naman yun. But later guys, sa end ng video, makikita nyo naman na kahit sponge yung gamit ko, grabe pa din yung coverage na. Downsides, other than nag-oxidize siya, I oil with that foundation. Dito lang naman sa aking T-zone because this is where I usually oil. And also guys, munti ko na makalimutan, it sips dito sa aking laugh lines and sa under eye, or not really sips, but settle. Pero sa totoo lang, I haven't really found a foundation na hindi nagsisettle sa aking laugh lines and sa under eye. For this foundation routine, ito yung second foundation that I will layer. Maganda siyang ipang layer sa ibang foundation since it has nga a thin consistency. Ito guys, isa lang ang shade ko. I am in the shade 201. I love this foundation even on its own and it has this kind of like dewy finish but the coverage is still there. Usually kasi guys, pag sinasabi natin na dewy, most likely hindi ganun ka-okay yung coverage na. Most likely it's sheer. But with this one alone on my skin, I achieve medium coverage. Pinakaunang downside with this foundation, pag nag-spray ka sa face mo, nadadama yung hair mo. Actually, ayan, medyo white-white pa yung gilid kasi kanina, inuna kong i-film yung demo para may makeup na ako ngayon. I just recently discovered layering this too. Sobrang ganda niya pag pinagsama. Una mong ilalagay si Marc Jacobs, then isusulod din si Air Flash, but you do have to remember to put on a thin layer of this Marc Jacobs one. The downside of both of these foundations are not locally available. I think you can buy them sa mga online shops, but sa mga department stores, kahit sa Rustans, I do not think that they carry these. Marc Jacobs one, I bought sa Sephora SG, I think around 2,800 pesos, and then this Air Flash, I'm not really sure, pero para mga nasa 3,000-3,500 per can. The good thing with this foundation routine, kahit isa lang na sponge yung gamitin mo, hindi ka na mag-wash pa na ibang brush. Well, this is a Beauty Blender Pro Sponge. I use this for Marc Jacobs, for the DR1, for my Coty Air Spawn. Ito lang talaga. And if you're going to ask me the difference of this one to the regular Beauty Blenders, mas tougher siya or mas parang mas mahirap siya iganyan. Pero hindi naman talaga mahirap. But just compared to the regular one, mas malambot si regular. You can buy Beauty Blender sa Sephora, I think mga 1,000 pesos. For my concealers for this routine, I use two interchangeably. Pag sa tingin ko na mas kailangan ko ng coverage, like I have super dark under eyes, I use this NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. Pagka medyo okay yung skin ko, I use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Pinakaunang difference, mas mahal si NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer than this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And also si NARS has kind of like this, not liquidy eh, moussey texture. And with this Maybelline naman, mas liquidy yung kanyang texture. This retails for $299 and I think this one, $1,400 something or $1,500. And 
to set all of those foundation and concealers in place, I use my Kuti Air Spot. This is how it looks like guys and I am in the shade Naturally Neutral. Sobrang dami niyang laman. Prior to this, I was using my Laura Mercier. Well, actually, mas maganda pa rin si Laura Mercier but the price is so expensive. Pag nagsiset ako ng face ko, you will see later na marami akong ginagamit so hindi siya makatarungan. So, even if mawala na si Laura Mercier, basta may Kuti Air Spot ako, okay na okay. Downside with this one, ayan, papakita ko sa inyo. Pag nag-travel kayo, lumalabas siya kasi medyo malalaki yung kanyang buta sa sifter. Ayan. So, dahan-dahan kasi lumilipad talaga siya. Mm. Mm. At para sa mga tao na sensitive when it comes to scents, medyo mabango lang talaga din siya. Parang old lady scent. Pero okay lang sa akin yun. I also have this Luminous Cucumber and Mulberry Botanical Facial Mist. This is something that I use to remove the powdery look of the cakiness. Hindi, <laughs> joke lang. Hindi naman cakey yung gagawin ko. Pero yun nga, this removes the powdery look. Again, prior to this, I was using the Smashbox Photo Finish Priming or, okay. Smashbox Photo Finish Priming Water but that's expensive. That's 1,600 and ito, marami rin akong ginagamit nito. So, hindi rin makatarungan. Yung mist yung guys, presyong foundation na rin siya na high end. So, I much prefer this one kasi may skincare benefits din siya. And this is very affordable, 500 pesos lang. It also says here that it's eco-friendly and 100% organic. Comes in a 100ml bottle and it says here, anti-aging and hydrating but do not mistake it for something na sticky kasi most likely yung mga anti-aging parang meron silang stickiness pero ito wala. What I also love about this mist is that it won't change the finish of your foundation. Pag dewy yung foundation mo, it's going to stay dewy. If it's matte, it's going to stay matte. And Another spray or mist to lock everything in place. This is the Urban Decay D Sleek Makeup Setting Spray, mostly for oily skin because it has oil control properties and meron siyang temperature control. So pag mainit, this will help. Now I've been using this for forever. Yung unang kong ginamit it's the All Nighter one, but I recently discovered na mas okay to. Para sa oily skin lang naman yon. I think this retails for around 1,618. Di ko sure. So tama na ang kwento, guys. Let's proceed to the demo. Using my Damp Beauty Blender Pro and this Marc Jacobs in the shade number 27, I'm going to create a thin layer. First. One of the things that I do not like with this foundation, hindi siya ganun ka-hygienic because look at this. Plastic one siya guys and ang ginagawa ko, naglalagay na lang ako sa back of my hand. Doon ako kumukuha. I don't want to use this plastic one to dot it on my face. As you can see guys, sobrang nipis lang yan but this is already okay. I'm going to show you. Now this foundation, you do not dot it on your whole face and then blend kasi medyo dumidikit agad siya pagka nakalagay na siya sa skin. So mas maganda, saka mo lang siya ilagay pagka ibe-blend mo na. With this foundation guys, a little goes a long way kaya konti-konti lang. I'm going to share with you, the first time that I tried this foundation, I was like, yes, yes, yes. Kasi sobrang nipis ng consistency niya, pero yung coverage niya, it's the best. I'm going to point out the difference, guys, ha. Ito yung my foundation, ito yung wala. Firstly, you can observe that wala na yung redness ko on this side. Can you see my veins right here? It's equally the same on this side, pero hindi na siya makita. And look at this, guys. I still have more than half of what I've dispensed at the back of my hand, and kasha pa siya hanggang sa neck. I'm going to do this other side. Ayan, medyo napadami yung kuha ko, but kasha na yan dito sa half ng face na yan. I'm I already finished with what I've dispensed and I have done my whole face hanggang neck. The best thing about this foundation is the coverage. For how it feels, tingnan nyo, it has already covered my veins and the redness that I have which are mostly my concerns. So, ito talaga yung foundation na masasabihan mo na patida na, damn sponge pa yung ginamit ko. What more kung brush? So, mas makapal yung coverage. Now, given this coverage, guys, it doesn't feel tight. It feels lightweight. And the last foundation that I have tried na nasatisfy ako sa coverage is the Double Wear from Estee Lauder. But that foundation, medyo mararamdaman mo talaga na nandun siya sa face. Before, I was like, that's the best foundation for me, but move over, mas better si Marc Jacobs. Now, it looks white on my face, but the thing is, this foundation, one of the downsides, sobrang nag-oxidize siya, especially if you're significantly acidic. I would usually stop with this foundation kung gusto ko lang na naka-makeup ako and dalabas ako ng bahay, gusto ko mukhang presentable and all. But if I have events, I use another layer foundation, which is the Your Scene Air Flash. Now, before, I was just using this alone, but when I watched Patrick Starr's video, sabi ko, sige, I'm going to try it with a thin layer of Marc Jacobs and yes, it's just perfect. I am in the shade 201 and yan, mag-display na tayo. As you can see guys, yan, di pa siya nabiblend. It looks dewy but we're going to blend again with the same sponge. Just like with the Marc Jacobs foundation, what I do is just to dab. Because pag hinihila ko siya na ganyan, it just lights. Then on the forehead, Before doing this side, just to give you a quick comparison, so this is how it looks like with the air flash on, and dito sa kabilang side, with just the Marc Jacobs. So, si Marc Jacobs alone, it is demi-matte, but with the air flash on, the skin already looks dewy and much nicer. I'm going to do the other side as well. Also, syempre on my neck. 
Do not worry guys if mukha siya mapute because I tell you, yung Marc Jacobs, nag-oxidize talaga siya. The one tip also para sa mga katulad ko na medyo merong dark outline sa lips, nilalagyan ko rin siya ng foundation. Ayan. Para nakoconceal yung darkness and mas nakikita yung totoong color ni lipstick. I am 20 sa Maybelline guys and then I am the shade Custard sa NARS. But for today, I'm going to use Maybelline. Naglalagay lang ako ng ganyan. Doesn't really matter kung paano ang paglalagay. Basta malagyan siya. Kind of like down to a V. On the other side... Sa chin, dito sa ibabaw ng nose, and sa forehead. Maganda sa concealer na to, hindi siya mabilis mag-dry. So, meron kang time para mag-blend na mag-blend. Sa under eye, kailangan ko mag-bow down para mas mag-blend ko siya na maayos and mas malapit siya sa lash line. I do not use an eye primer, so ang ginagamit ko is also the concealer. And of course, on this area, I bring it down. Para mas makita yung difference ng contour, I just bring it down. Same thing on the other side, I forgot to tell you that when I blend my concealer dito sa under eye, I just usually bring it up to the temples para may lifting effect. And also, don't forget yung lids just for the eye priming. Lastly, again, dito sa cheeks. Bring it down, just like so. Now, after everything else, I set this with a loose powder and I use this Coty Air Spun Loose Face Powder. And dahil tamad ako, the same damn sponge. And you know me guys, I bake the whole face. So months before, I have already showed you, I think sa isang Q&A, that I bake my whole face. Because I am oily sa T-zone and dito sa cheeks, I am dry. But here in the Philippines, it's very humid so it's just better to bake the whole face. And you do not have to worry kung marami ka ilagay dahil hindi naman mahal si Coty Air Spun. <coughs> Pasensya na guys, pero ganyan talaga yung ginagawa ko. Pag nagmamadali ka, since nilagay mo naman lahat ng powder, I just blend it with yung aking damp sponge din. Kasi nga, tapad ako. Ayoko nang gumamit na iba pang brush. I do not bake my neck, so what I do, tinatagal ko na agad siya. Again, with the same sponge, hindi ko kailangan ng baking sa neck. Kaya just go ahead and, you know, blend it. The longer that you bake your face, mas maganda, mas nagtatagal. But hindi naman kailangan excessively like 15 minutes, 30 minutes. Minsan ako 5 minutes na or wala pang 5 minutes, 3 minutes. I just remove the powder na. Minsan kasi you just do not have the patience para mag-wait. Or syempre, wala kang oras para mag-make. Kasi kadalasan tayo mag-girls. Nang mamadali tayo pag gumagawa ng makeup. But ayan yan. Do not worry if this looks powdery because may gagawin tayo later to remove it. I told you earlier not to worry about yung pagiging powdery ng look. It's because we can resort to misting. So this is a current facial mist that I'm loving. I bring this everywhere with me, especially when I travel, and let's start misting. Give it a good shake, and what I just do not like about this, hindi ganun kaganda yung kanyang, ano ba tawag dito? Atomizer or what? Medyo malalaki siya, but what you have to do is to make it more layo on your face. There. If you really wanna put on a lot, or if you wanna layer, like ako, ilang beses ko siyang nasa-spray sa face, you have to wait for the first layer, for the first thin layer to dry, and then spray another one. And that's what I'm going to do. Let's wait for this to dry. So that completes my foundation routine, guys. After this, I just do the rest of my makeup, and I'm done. Almost done with my makeup. As I've told you, kailangan kong mag-spray ulit with another layer of misting spray so that everything will be binded together. Malapit na siya matuyo guys, but hindi na ako makapaghintay. So I'm going to spray with my Urban Decay D Sleek Makeup Setting Spray. This is again for oily skin. So what this will do is it's going to lock everything in together and pas pinatatagal niya yung makeup. That is it guys for my Placado Foundation Routine or Flawless Foundation Routine. Hindi ko sinasabi na ito yung tamang way ng paggawa but this is how I do it and this is what works for me. And before din ako nag-come up dito, I was just layering different foundations. Trying ko alin yung okay yung finish for my skin type which is combination oily, alin yung matagal na hupulas. And of course, since I wear this for events, yung okay sa flash. And mostly, I get questions on what I'm wearing. For today's look, I went for something fresh, natural, and radiant looking since I want the focus to be on the canvas, on the skin, or on our foundation kasi foundation routine to so that you can really see na okay din naman kahit hindi ganun karami yung eyeshadow mo or hindi ganun kapak na paking lipstick it's just that your canvas will speak for itself so other than yung ginamit ko sa base I use my heroin make mascara in steady brown highlighter is Colourpop smoke and whistles for my lips naman I use an essence lip liner sorry nakalimutan ko yung shade but it's something nude and for my lipstick it's MAC freckle tone and lastly I topped it off with Akiko Malano 3D lip gloss and for the brows I use my Anastasia brow powder duo in medium brown I'm going to 
to clear. This is not waterproof, ha? This is not waterproof. I just told you that it's going to be a Placado Makeup Foundation. It lasts on me for about more than 12 hours, but I have to blot dito sa aking T-zone. So, baka akalain ninyo na pwede itong ipang swimming, hindi po. I still have yet to discover something that's great for swimming kasi hindi na parang ako swimming na may makeup. And other than that, I do not know how to swim. I hope this helps and some other time, I'm going to do a Placado Foundation routine that's focusing mostly on drugstore products. Now, if you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you on my next videos. Bye!